Today on Houston Life, we are hitting the road and heading south to Galveston to explore all kinds of activities for the whole family. Plus, the inspiring story of how one Galveston local went from near death to a bodybuilding champ. And our visit wouldn't be complete without a stop at Moody Gardens. From the rainforest to the aquarium, we'll take a look inside the pyramids. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from the Strand in Galveston, Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life, live from Sanger Fest Park down here on Galveston Island. It is Thursday, March 11th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore, along with Courtney Savala, and of course, little Tex Man here. Absolutely. It feels so good to get out of Studio B and down on the island ahead of spring break. We've got a beautiful crowd here. Of course, we're on the corner of Strand and Tremont Street. And I have to tell you, it's always a good day to take the show on the road, and it's always a really good day when you can be on the island. It sure is, and I forget it is only 50 miles yes. from downtown Houston. Every time I come down to the island, I ask myself, why don't I do it more often? I know. I'm glad this is our office today. We are so lucky to be here. Our entire Houston Life team, we are out exploring the island today, and we are going to start with our girl, reporter Lauren Kelly, who's enjoying a bit of the sun near the Pleasure Pier, right on the seawall. Hey, girl. <laughs> you guys, it's such a great day. My toes are in the sand. Is this a work day or is this a work day? I'm going to bring you some of the cutest fashion that you can get just ahead of spring break that you can purchase right here on Galveston Island. Do not go anywhere. A fashion show is coming your way. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. Okay, that's pretty good. Sun out there. On the sand, now let's check in with Joe Sam to see what he is up to. Hey, hey, Derek and Courtney, it feels amazing out here. And you know what? You can't come to the island without getting a taste of it. And that's what we're doing today. We're shopping for some seafood. And we're doing that here at a seafood market that's been here for 100 years. We're going to be talking to the owner, who's a third generation of the Sampson & Sons Seafood Market. And we're going to tell you all about this amazing seafood that everyone can come and check out. But right now, we're going to send things back to you guys while I do more of some shopping. Okay, Joe, sounds good. We'll see you in just a little bit. You know, Courtney, March 11th, 2021, it's hard to believe that a year ago we were in a very different scenario. Sure. A year ago today was the day that the pandemic really became official and uh, everything started getting locked down. The world completely changed overnight. It sure did, and it's hard to believe that a year ago what we were dealing with, we had no idea what the next few months would be like and how important it is today to get out of the house, right? I mean, how great it is to just get in the car and take a ride down to Galveston. And I will tell you, uh, Galveston holds a really special place in our heart for Orlando and I both, because when we first moved here, he worked on the island. Oh, you're kidding. Every single day, he commuted from Sugarland to Galveston. And so even before the boys were born and, and, and then thereafter, it, it just is a special place to us. We feel like, you know, we kind of grew up on the island a little bit because we were new to the area and it was so lovely coming down here all the time. It feels like you're coming home to the yeah. island and when you said you were new to the area, I had the same experience. Meeting the shop owners, meeting the locals down here in Galveston, some of them split their time between, you know, the city and the island, but everyone is so welcoming and I think that is the key, the secret to why people feel so at home. We've been out and about talking to business <laughs> owners today, and people are doing a great job still wearing their masks and Absolutely. keeping their distance. They're still taking the pandemic very seriously, but I think for a lot of people, if you're wondering what to do for spring break, uh, people are itching to get out of the house, jump in the car, head down to the island. There are so many things to do, and I had the pleasure this morning, Courtney, of taking you I know. to do one of my favorite things. Have you guys been to Jamaica Me Crazy here on the Strand? You pick out a T-shirt. They're about 10 bucks, and then you have literally hundreds of decals you can choose from. Of course, I had to go with the uh, 
cat astronaut riding the burger. I mean, it's a magic carpet. I'm so, this is old school iron on. You know, you guys remember going to the mall and going to the iron on places? Basically, that's what you do. I, I picked out, of course, I went with the hot pink, but I went with sort of the tie dye tiger scenario. It suits you. But here's the thing you know me and a good shopping trip, Derek. I love it. And so I need to go back and get another one because as we were checking out, I saw another one that I want. Oh my gosh. Well, it was so much fun, and I'm glad you finally got to experience this. If you guys are looking for souvenirs, a little something from the island, not only can you make the t shirts, uh, they have all kinds of shells and hats, apparel, fun, fun gifts. And it's also just a fun experience because you create a memory. We didn't get those matching hats, Courtney, but we still have time to do that. I think we need to. We found some other really cool t shirts, everything tie dye. And um, we also, did we try on some swimsuits? Oh, we, maybe that's not in there yet. Oh, yeah, the swimsuit uh, competition is coming up later on <laughs> in today's know. show. But we're you know, not the models. We are not the models, but we were also a little parched. And so whether you're walking around or you've got to sit at the restaurants, you could grab a little margarita or daiquiri to go. We went to Tola Mobeta Market. We sat down at the counter. What did you order? I had the daiquiri. The daiquiri. And it was large and in charge. I think I had the 24 ounce. I only took a few sips because I had to work today. But what's great about this spot is you have that little bar that you can, you know, belly up to the bar right there. You can grab a beer. The cocktails are wine based, but the cool thing about them is once you grab them at the bar, you can Walk around. stroll around town. I love it. I had the regular traditional margarita, if you will, and very refreshing on the island. You know, you immediately get into island time when you're here. I know, it's true. Okay, what, what was happening? I don't know. We were very excited. We were very, very <laughs> excited. Well, and in true Courtney fashion, too, uh, it wasn't just about taking a little sip of a cocktail. <laughs> the moment we started walking down the strand, <laughs> This is something I learned about you today. <laughs> I never knew this before. So you all know that Courtney loves to shop, right? I, th I think there's something, it like shuts off half of your brain. When Courtney sees a shop she wants to go into, yep. or when she sees something she wants to buy, nothing else matters. No. Nope. Even if she were on live TV and a camera crew's waiting for her to, you know, do her thing, she goes straight for the shopping. Just like a good Metallica song, nothing else matters. Listen, I zone in on something when I see a good hat. I found a good sun hat or two. You did. <laughs> well, it's, it's a good thing we're down here because we have plenty of time today. Already, we've been here. What's Time we get here 10 a.m. We yes. had a full day of adventure, tons of shopping, and I gotta say, one of my favorite parts about coming down here. I know the spa, the the crowd is sort of sparsely uh, spread out along uh, along the square in Sangerfest, but all of these lovely people, so many of them, we've actually spoken with uh, earlier today, and it's great to see people who even Courtney were here four years ago, the first time Houston Life did a remote show. Yes, from Galveston, and I've had people today. I've I've loved you from. The the mall days. Oh, is that an insult or a compliment? I don't know. I just said thank you anyway. Totally, totally <laughs> kidding. Yeah, we have just the nicest, nicest crowd. And you can tell people are sort of, as the day uh, gets later, more and more people are coming out. Again, if you haven't been down to the island in a while, come on down. You'll be so glad you did. So much to see and do and eat and drink. Absolutely, sure. because the businesses also need you. So come in and support all these businesses here on the island. And again, everybody's friendly, lots of mask wearing still going on, but I think it's something to be said for being on the island, island time, and taking your vacation. It feels good. Yeah, it does. It really does. And I think Texas is having a great time as well. He loves the sea breeze and his fur. Well, listen, we've had a crew here setting up since early this morning. We've got the prize wheel, so many things to get to in today's show and still to come the newest addition to your stay on the island find out how a vintage travco do you know what a travco is if not you will there it is how it can take your spring break to the next level of adventure and comfort it is super super cool courtney i love it plus you could win some big prizes from houston life the prize wheel we're spinning it here in galveston don't go anywhere houston life is back in just two minutes Island. Okay.
Okay, it looks like we had a little bit of a delay there, but welcome back to Houston Life for joining you live from Sangerfest Park on Galveston Island. And Courtney, when people are planning their itineraries coming down to the island, you may be a bit overwhelmed because there is so much to choose from. Yeah, but we brought in the experts. Don't you worry about it. We have Jack Hilton and Michael Woody with Galveston Island Convention and Visitors Bureau. Man, you guys are on the brink of some great spring break. Let's talk about this beauty. Her name's Vicki. Her name is Vicki. About a year ago, we set out to build a mobile visitor center so the search was on to find something unique to Galveston Island. That's when we found Vicki, a 1975 Dodge Travco. She's been fully gutted and remodeled to be a state-of-the-art visitor center. She's complete with everything the visitor needs, including an onboard kiosk where they can plan their entire experience while they're on island. And that is so cool because Vicki basically is going to move around the island, exactly. seawall, the strand, and, and visitors can then plan it and it goes directly to their phone or gets exactly. emailed? Exactly. You can take it anywhere. You can send it to your friends. You can send it to your family. You can post it on Facebook. Everyone will know what you're doing on the island, and hopefully they'll come and join you. I that love it. Super cool. Making it easy. You can tell it just had a fresh paint job. Vicki, <laughs> you are looking amazing. Okay, we got a chat about Stewart Beach, uh, Beach and East Beaches. They're both uh, opening this Yeah, weekend. we're really excited. So, beach parks open this weekend. So, on Saturday, uh, people can come down to the island and really enjoy a full experience. Uh, so, uh, Stewart Beach uh, is right at the end of Broadway and then East Beach is at the far east end. So a lot of fun things going on and we're excited to bring that back for the season. You know what's so great is during the pandemic I think people got in their cars they were able to go on drives and plan vacations accordingly where we could and, and when we could but I think now people don't want to ditch their cars they still want to drive to the island. You're on the verge of a really great spring break here. We really are and you know I think historically we've welcomed over 300,000 people to the island for spring break. We're really looking forward to hopefully doing that again this year. Uh, we have a lot of people within 300 miles. Over 30 million people are within 300 miles of Galveston. Uh, we think a lot of those just, like you said, they're going to want to be in their car and drive on down to the island. So looking forward to that. Attractions and events, there is such a long, long list. Whether people are day tripping down to the island or staying, where do you begin? What's your advice if a family or a couple or even a single person out there wants to come down for a visit? Very good. Well, I tell you, there is a lot to do and there's a lot beyond the beach. We certainly have 32 miles of beach, but we have museums, we have Moody Gardens, we have the Pleasure Pier, um, we have great restaurants, great retail. So really, there's a whole list of things for people to do. Um, and you know what, we can fill an entire week for you. So we look forward <laughs> to people coming down for the full time. And vicky has got some fun activations during the week as well. Yeah, we're doing a Where's Vicky campaign. So you can go to visitgalveston.com and check out where she'll be all over the island so we can help you figure out exactly where you need to go. And yeah, all cool. of these businesses truly do they need our help and they need our support again um, to, to keep these mom and pop businesses yes. alive yes very much so okay well if you guys need any of our tips uh, you let us know because we certainly had a long list of things to get to this morning <laughs> we just scratched the surface but again if you're a city person if you live up in Houston you can grab a Bud Light and you can walk along the strand it is so much fun to have a drink wind blowing in your hair and meet some lovely people like Jacqueline and Michael thank you so much thank you all thank so you. much happy thank spring you. break yes. Come back. <laughs> I don't think we're leaving that's the problem <laughs> that's the goal <laughs> we do want to give you guys the information to plan your next trip to the island log on to the website visit galveston.com for more information all of that there and check out Vicki how cute is she she is adorable and her paint job looks fantastic okay so as always we do want to hear from you our viewers we told you some of our favorite spots we heard from Jacqueline and Michael about their favorite spots we want to hear from you your favorite spots share them with us on our Houston Life Facebook page and we just might read some of your comments live on today's show absolutely some good stuff already coming in and yep. still to come, guys, we have a great show ahead of us, an inspiring transformation. The Galveston bodybuilder who changed his life and is now helping others to do the same. Yeah, and we will be checking back in with Lauren Kelly, who is near the Pleasure Pier. And Lauren, I understand uh, there's a bit of fashion going on down there. Is that right? We're going to hear from her soon.
Welcome back to Houston Life live from Sanger Fest Park down here in Galveston. Time now for the Houston Life prize wheel. As a reminder, this is your chance to spin and win. We love our viewers, and there's some great prizes on the wheel, Courtney. I know, and by the way, I love a good costume change, but I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm, you know, yes, yes. I'm ready. I am ready to spin the wheel. And today we have spinning the wheel is Patricia Ochoa joining us live from Zoom from the South Belt, Ellington area. Patricia, what's Hi. up, girl? Courtney, I love you guys. You look fabulous in Galveston. That's fabulous. Oh, Patricia, we love you too. And listen, you are so active. We see your comments all over our Facebook page. So what are you hoping to win today? Because we have an experience at Moody Gardens, a one night stay at the San Luis Resort, which is absolutely beautiful. All kinds of stuff. Do you have a favorite? Well, I'm going to have a baby, my grandson, my fourth one. So everything on the wheel sounds fabulous. Okay. I like where you're going. Patricia, I like everything too. Should we spin it? We should spin. Do you want me to hold that large mic while you do the honors? Never. She's a true <laughs> professional. Okay, do it. We are spinning Come on, the wheel. Patricia. Come Big on, money. Patricia. Oh boy, I'm feeling something good here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 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 You are going to Schlitterbahn. We've got a family oh, four pack nice. for you here in Galveston. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, nice. Patricia. Well deserved. Well deserved. Thank you so much for registering to spin to win. Have a fantastic time out there at Schlitterbahn. And to the rest of our viewers, if you didn't win today, don't worry. There's going to be another chance later on in today's show. And of course, in the coming weeks. Absolutely, and I might share the skinny mic with you. Okay. Congratulations, Patricia. You have a four pack coming your way to Schlitterbahn. Congratulations and thanks so much for watching Houston Life. We do appreciate it. We're going to send it over now to Lauren Kelly for some island fashion, and she's got her toes in the sand. Hey, Lauren. I sure do, guys. Well, you know where you're going to go for spring break. That's Galveston Island. But what are you going to wear for spring break? That's where we come into play. And I'm here with my good friend from Hobbit's Clothing Store in the Post Office District. She's going to help me introduce some of these fashions today. Hi, Monica Berry. How, How are, are you? you? Doing really well. How are you? So we've got some models. We're going to show yes, off some do. looks. And we're going to run through where these people can get them as well, right? Yep. Yep. All right. So let's start. We're going to start with Crystal. She's got the boho beach look from Lady Brown's Boutique. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is a really fun kimono. It has a real fun elephant print in it. She matched it with a simple white cami and then has these great khaki pants that also come in olive and black. And then she's carrying a reversible bag. It's a vegan bag, and then you could turn it brown or you could do it to a light tan. Oh, so it matches everything. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal. Looking good. Now on to Alan. He's got on an outfit from Surf Styles. This is the laid back luau. Yeah, he is wearing uh, all billabong, which is real fun. The color is really popular for this season. Uh, the shorts are great. They have the pockets. You could wear them on the beach. You could uh, be strolling up on the seawall with them. It's a fun look to have. I love it, and the sunglasses, too. Oh, uh, yeah, the sunglasses are great. They're the new Oakley sunglasses. Awesome. Well. Thank you, Alan. Let's move on to Bella. Rocking it in this bikini, or is it a one-kini? Uh, this is great. This is a one-piece, and then it actually looks like a two-piece, and it's color-blocked, which is a real popular thing right now, and it ties in three different colors, which is real fun. And then she's topping that off with the Waterman Tier Lifeguard hat and Maui Gym glasses. Awesome. That was another look from Surf Styles. Thank you, Bella. Let's move on to Joy. She's got on an outfit from the Style Co. It's the beachside stroll look. Yeah, this is a real fun outfit. And again, we're going back to like the greens and the sages and all those colors coming out. It's a pineapple maxi skirt that she is uh, matched with a knotted cami. And then the necklaces are two different necklaces that are layered. And then she's wearing a real fun uh, beaded leopard uh, clutch. Everything matches so beautifully. Yeah, so Thank pretty. you. Thank you, Joy. Let's move on to Ashley now. This is some of your own this goodies. Is my shop right here. <laughs> Which I love this dress because it's a halter style dress and it really flatters your arms. And then it cuts into like a three tier A line skirt, which is really pretty with a waist. And then we just did it with a little color pop of a clutch. And then the bracelet is from Mock and More Jewelry, which is in Post Office District as well. I'm telling you, Monica, she looks like an Instagram model. I love it. She sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Looking good. And finally, let's move on to Heidi. She's got on a great outfit, the Seaside Soiree from the Tangerine yeah. Boutique. And we're keeping up with that island look. You see some fun little hidden monkeys in there. This is a dress by Corey Lynn Coulter. And then she's wearing some jewelry by Susan Shaw. 
It's a real fun dress. The ruffled sleeves are really flattering on the arm as well. I just love those sleeves. Those yeah, are so great. Thank fun. you so much, Heidi. You look great. Well, Monica, I want to thank you for well, allowing me to for wear Haba's hat. This hat has been actually keeping my hair okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's also UV, so you're and, sun protected. And this beautiful necklace <laughs> as well. So thank you again for showing yeah, us all these fantastic you. Thank you. Thanks so if us. you guys want to find any of the looks on today, log on to HoustonLife.tv. We've got all the information. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. Okay, I need all the hats, all the dresses, and the purses. So box them up, bag them up. I'll be back later to get them. You actually have one of those dresses, don't you? I don't think so. <laughs> you don't? No, I, you I loved it. All, all of them were great. All, all of them were great, and I need a spray tan. Lauren, thank you so much. Coming up, <laughs> we're going to take a trip to the pyramids. We have a look at the top attractions for spring break this year at Moody Gardens. All right, and we'll get a check of what Keith, Christine, and Frank have coming up for the news at four when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. Well, welcome back to Houston Live. We are live from Galveston. I'm Courtney Savala along with Derek and uh, not quite 3.30, but we're getting there. Man, we're on island time. Tux has been on island time oh, yeah. all day. He is so relaxed. He is loving this. The wind is blowing. Feels so good. And in honor of taking our show on the road to Galveston, we are asking you, what is your favorite thing to do on the island? Thank you so much to everyone who's already written comments in. We're going to start with Janice. Moonlight strolls on the beach, sitting on the balcony and people watching having a bowl of gumbo at Big Daddy's Gumbo Bar on Post Office Street. A stop for ice cream at La King's on the Strand. But the very best thing to do is board a ship to sail away to escape the madness of city life. She's got oh, a great list there. I love that. I want to do all of those things. And Christina wrote in lunch and drinks at Hearsay on the on the Strand. We were just down there. We sure were. Uh, and then a little retail therapy at the amazing shops. I'm with you, Christina. All right. Yeah, right near Riondo is one of my favorite spots as well. And Patty writes in, I live in Galveston on Seawall Boulevard and enjoy people watching. Also, watching people try to park on Seawall can be very entertaining. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. The parallel parking can get some good people. <laughs> Sometimes bad parking happens, happens to, to good, good people. people. All right, now we're going to check in with Keith and Christine for a look at what is coming up at the news at 4. And sadly, they're in studio. Oh, my gosh. On the island with I us. know. We are so jelly. I am jelly. I'm, you know, I'm hurt. I didn't get the invitation. We didn't get the invitation. I, I mean, I... I've We're about to go crash this party. And we'll be there in an hour and a half. <laughs> Swim trunks ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right here. Yeah. Okay, it sounds good. Yeah, the, from, from 3 till 4 o'clock, too. All right, great to see you guys. Hope yes. you're enjoying the sights and sounds in Galveston. Like we said, we're, we're certainly uh, certainly jealous, but we want to talk about some of the things we have yeah. coming up at 4 o'clock today on our newscast. So just a couple of hours ago, President Biden signed the COVID relief bill into law. He was supposed to do that tomorrow, but bumped it up to today. A closer look at how much money families could see, and that's above and beyond those $1,400 stimulus checks. There are additional funds for those of you with young kids as well, so we'll explain. Also, one of the pharmacy chains is expanding COVID-19 vaccine availability in the Houston area. We will show you who's doing that and what you have to do to make an appointment. Plus, we're going to introduce you to a 93-year-old man and what he's doing to inspire his neighbors. You guys, this is a nice feel-good story that we know you're going to enjoy. That's right. That's right, for sure. First, we want to go to Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley. He also is live in Galveston. Frank, can you at least bring us back a bottle of sand? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. We, we don't ask for much. Do we, we do? I, I know Frank's there. Oh, there. <laughs> I don't know why you're not down here. It's wonderful. The temperature's right now about 70, 71 degrees. We got, in fact, the sun is trying to break through the cloud cover, and I think it's about to do it. So it's looking just terrific out here. And, and it's 10 degrees cooler than in Houston, and that tends to be fairly typical across the area. So it's always cooler here in the summer and a little warmer in the winter. So the temperature can't be beat. In fact, a lot of times it'll be storm.
storming in Houston. It'll be a, a gorgeous day here. So always, always look to the weatherman when you need to go down to Galveston and find out what the real deal is. So I've got temperatures right now around 71 degrees in uh, Houston. As I said, it's 10 degrees warmer at 81. In fact, all across the board, we're looking at a lot of upper 70s and low 80s. It is on the warm side. Thank the southeast wind for that. That's right now anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour. So it continues to be certainly on the uh, breezy side everywhere, although we're really well protected here down on Sanger Fist Park. We'll get some gust in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range. A little cloud cover. As I said, the sun is trying to break through, so we're in pretty good uh, shape there. We're going to see this low move in for the weekend. So as we get into the next uh, couple of days, I think it'll stay like this. And then Sunday is going to be the day to watch. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm right behind you. Oh, hey, oh, Franklin. Hey, Franklin. <laughs> there you are. I'm sorry. I'm going to put my cell phone in my cell phone holder next to my water holder <laughs> from my Mr. Golf Cart golf cart. I <laughs> love it. And we have to. The list is getting longer, not just Franklin, not just Admiral, but also Mayor of Galveston. Oh, come on. The honorary, maybe, but you know, the, the real mayor does all the work. And the city manager, Brian Maxwell, he does all the work. Okay. I just show up on weekends and make, every, make sure everybody is having a good time. But I love your costume. It looks fabulous. Costume. I'm I know. An admiral. And you are an these admiral. Are my, these are my bars, my admiral bars. This is not really an admiral's hat. It's more of a, of a ship's captain hat, but it looks the part. And I think better. you wear it well, Franklin. I'm not Captain Crunch, Courtney. <laughs> I didn't say Captain Crunch. <laughs> it's not a costume, Courtney. It's a way of life. That's it right. Is. You know what? It really was a nice honor. The Texas Navy exists, and they got in touch with me and asked me right. if I would like to be an admiral. Was that I like said, a year sure. ago, Frank, or a little uh, longer? Uh, it was in September. Okay. Yeah, so it was last year. And we were on the Alyssa, the tall ship. Right. And uh, had a nice little ceremony. And it's it's honorary, but it's really nice. And it, and it really pays tribute to the Texas Navy. Which played a huge role in Texas independence before Texas became a state. And then, of course, the U.S. Navy took over. But, you know, there were people who lived and died for the Texas Navy, yeah. and you don't want it to be forgotten, just like the Texas Army. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know Galveston is so near and dear to your heart, and yeah, so yeah. it's so great to have you with us today here on the island. Everybody's on island time. I now. wouldn't let you come here without me. I know, honey. I know. It's beautiful that we're down at Sanger Fest Park, too, because people think of Galveston and they just think, oh, right. the beach, the beach, the beach, the beach. And there's so so much down here. These buildings go back to 1855. That's the oldest, the Henley building. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm going to be for my weather at the top of the Tremont. Oh, it's so it's beautiful. Gorgeous. We're going to have great oh. views from up there. The post office restaurants, the art galleries on post office, all to do on the Strand, Harbor side. There's just a whole world down here. And that's why uh, Kevin and I really live fairly close to here. We can walk here or golf cart here because we enjoy the people and the things to do in town. Right. And then if we want to go to the beach, we'll walk to the beach. Well, you just load up that golf cart. That's, That's all right. you do. <laughs> yeah, my question is, Frank, when are we going to get a ride on the, the new golf cart? Anytime you want. It's ready to go. How about 4.01 p.m. today? 4.01 p.m.? We'll, <laughs> we'll go in circles right around Singer Fest Park. Right here. Perfect. I'll let you drive. We're not going to go outside the perimeter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Frank. Admiral, Mayor. Uh, hey, it's uh, nice to see you guys. I'm glad to be here. Great to see you. Thank you. And Great you can just call me too. Frank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> always it's always a good day we could hang out with Frank a little bit longer. Oh, it's so sure. much fun. Okay, well, imagine if your spring break, you could head under the sea and to the rainforest all in one day. Well, you can do that right here in Galveston at Moody Gardens, the pyramids, of course. Take a look at just some of the fun the entire family can enjoy. What's better than a spring break road trip? And that's what we're inviting everybody, everybody to come down to Galveston Island for. Um, beautiful days like this all the time. And we've got attractions the whole family's going to enjoy. You can venture over to the Aquarium Pyramid and see the penguins, seals, sharks, the Rainforest Pyramid. 3D Theater, we've got a new film called uh, Hidden Pacific 3D. And the 4D Theater, go out on a cruise. Value pass to get you into all the attractions, so it's a great way to save for all the family. You know, I have to tell you, Moody Gardens, no matter what season, what time of year, there is so much to do, whether it's Christmas, summer, spring break. The boys love going, love Palm Beach. I mean, there's always something for the whole family. It's a great place to go bird watching. It is. I mean, that's one of my favorite, favorite parts. And one thing that I consistently hear from, from most people I run into 
You feel like you are a world away. Yes. You come down here. It's so nice. You go over that causeway and you can just sort of like Everybody exhale. The out. blood pressure goes down a bit. Little island time action. I keep saying it, but it's true. And that was just a small preview of what you can expect to do at Moody Gardens. By the way, for more information, you can head to HoustonLife.tv. We do have a link there for all of the attractions. Really easy to help plan your next trip. Yeah, so many things to do. And coming up, the total transformation of a local bodybuilding champ. Here his incredible story next. And later, we will check back in with Joe Sam as he spends the day working the docks at Samson & Sons Seafood. More Houston Life when we come back. Welcome back to Houston Life, live from Singer Fest Park on Galveston Island. About three years ago, Everett Jolivet IV was in crisis. At 408 pounds, he suddenly woke up one evening unable to breathe. That terrifying moment was Everett's wake-up call, truly. From there, not only did he commit to take his health seriously, he went on to become a champion who would inspire others as well. Final machine, let's keep it tight, keep it right. Let's do this. My name is Everett Jolivet IV, and I'm one of the personal trainers at Galveston Hardcore Gym. Squats, ready, go. My journey started about two to three years ago. Pretty much I was 408 pounds, and I dropped 233 pounds in one year. My father played a huge part of it. He pretty much, he was 41 years old and he died one week before he's supposed to open his own restaurant. He was a bodybuilder, and after the bodybuilder life, he didn't take care of himself. He was opening his own business, he gained some weight, and then he gained some more weight, and then by the time you know it, it was too late. So that's why I keep this pendant around me when I'm having bad days, I'll be like, hey, keep going, keep going, keep driving, keep driving. So with that being said, that's really what started the journey. Go! Me being a personal trainer, this, this provides for my family. We got transformations to do. Any questions? So I know the only way I can provide for my family is, hey, I, it's time for me to go get it. It's time for me to step it up. Back, last friend. My very first show, I did go pro. It was the NSL title. And there's a couple other people there. And next thing you know, I, I won the whole show. Quarter turn. You just have to want it. You, you have to want it. There is no, it's not a story behind it. If you don't want it, it's not going to happen. A lot of people don't want to hear that truth. I tell people just stay humble, stay patient, be consistent, and it will take off. It will take off. When it's your time, it's your time. If it was because of my family and the support, I wouldn't be where I'm at. If it wasn't because of my sponsors, Galveston County, period, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Yeah, come on. Never forget where you came from. That's all. That's my biggest pet peeve. If you got somebody that need help and I'm helping you, you help them. Always give back. 27, 26. i uh, always been a giver. I used to be a taker, so that's why I do so much with the community. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. If you need help, I got you. All right. I appreciate all y'all. Like, seriously, that was, that was good today. Love you guys. And Everett Jolivet IV is joining us now live. What an incredible story. And look at you now. Fantastic. Thank you. You were just telling you. us a moment ago, you're feeling a little nervous, even though typically you're on stage just wearing, I don't know, um, a, a little Typically thong. on stage, like literally in a thong. <laughs> I have to do a dance routine, and now, like... <laughs> it's all good, though, man. It's all good. What I think is really incredible, uh, is Everett, is that not only did you take control of your life and your health, but then you you became a bodybuilding champion. So not only the discipline of, of getting yourself healthy, but the discipline it took you to get your body on stage, because that is a whole nother level. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's, it's a blessing, it just, it, it all came at once, and when I had uh, got into the NPC, it just, my career took off, my life changed, uh, better things for my family, and 
it's a lot more to come, so right. it's just patience and being consistent. And all in the honor of your father. Absolutely. Well, the level of commitment and determination is so incredible because keeping a physique like yours, this takes constant, constant work. <laughs> Right? You guys was eating pizza right there. I know. And I was like, what's your cheat day, Everett? Do you have a cheat day? So since we, since we on live, no, I do not have a cheat day. <laughs> not at all. I if my, you were going to have a cheat day, what would you eat? I would probably go to a Galveston Golden Corral and get a steak and my sweet potatoes. Uh -huh. and they have this incredible chocolate waterfall and. I'll probably end up at Shipley's after that. So, oh, dear. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, go big or go home. Okay, That's so I understand, Everett, you have got a handful of exercises that Courtney and I are going to try. These are low-impact exercises yes. that a lot of people can do, right? Yes. I, uh, so with the um, COVID was happening, I was getting a lot of inboxes. What can we do at the house because we don't have any weights? The gym are shut down. So what I was doing right before the pandemic happened, I was at the Holland House on 61st Street with my older clients, and every Saturday I would go over there and just do community service and try to keep them in shape because they have nowhere to walk, you know, family's not visiting, so I just told myself, let's do something. Let's That's just, great. And the first something. exercise you have for us are mountain climbers, and typically yes. we would do these on the ground, but you say you have a way, a version to I do have this. simple version. Okay. So you're going to put your hands on a chair. Okay. And you're going to get at a 90 degree angle, and I'm going to count down for literally one minute. Uh, we don't have that much time. In okay, this so <laughs> let's do 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Okay. okay. 20 seconds. See, we're on the same page. Okay. So you're going to drop your knees, and you're just going to go as fast as you can. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, my shoes 14, <laughs> 13, Come on, 12, Courtney, you can I know, 11, my shoes are coming 10, up. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Those get your heart rate up. Don't do these in slip-on shoes. No, not at all. I heard one <laughs> person applauding. One person was, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, what's next? Okay, next, I'm going to have you guys do... Are they chair squats? I'm gonna have you do chair squats, but okay. I'm gonna also add the burpee up in the air. Okay. okay. So okay. I'm gonna want y'all to literally just simple sit down. Okay. Do we actually sit? We just tap we just up. it. And we stand just up. Tap it back. And jump up in the air. Oh. Hands up. Ready? Okay. And oh. go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, oh, man. 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, oh, man. six, Feel the burn. five, four, three, two, and one. And here comes the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> almost, 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 almost. We're okay. almost done. We're almost In done. In 30 seconds, we have a uh, Russian twist. Yes, sir. Okay. So literally, you, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right. You, you saw the <laughs> way we're going to make it. All right. Make it show. All right. Russian so you, twist. You're just going to put your feet up in the air. And you're gonna hold the sides. Okay. And you're just gonna twist and keep. I want you guys to engage in your core and keep it tight. Keep it tight. 30 seconds. <sighs> 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, oh, 21, 20 seconds. He's, I'm 19, following the direction. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Show 6. Off. Five, four. Yeah, she is really showing you up. <laughs> Two and one. Anybody could do this. Hold on. There I'm you go. Okay. There you go. Hold on. I Good job, listening. guys. Everett Jolivet the fourth. <gasps> Thank you. You're Thank an inspiration you. and Thank wow. You. Congratulations on your transformation as well. Thank you. It's fantastic. Okay. We're gonna catch our breath <laughs> and we're gonna send it over to Joe Sam who's having some fun. Yeah, that's right, you guys. We are having some fun. We're picking out our big beauty fish here at Samson and Sons. We're going to be telling you about this business and how long they've been here in the Galveston community and how people can come and check out their amazing products like this beautiful red snapper. We'll be right back. It is time once again to spin our Houston life 
surprise wheel that cuts a little big for you though. A little big, but the boas look great and skinny microphone always works. Spinning now, we have Courtney Long and you are joining us live via Zoom from Google Hi. Katie. Happy spring. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Great name, Courtney. Same to you, girlfriend. <laughs> Wins, right? Okay, so you're a KPRC2 viewer. Uh, do you want to see more of Tex on the show? That's the question of the day. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, He's such a good pup. Well, congratulations, because today, the next time we spin, you are going to win. Yay! Who wouldn't be excited? All right, right? Derek, you want to do the honors sure. today? Sure, I'll go for All it. All right, let's it do it. Nice big spin. Good spin. We've got tons of great prizes on here. Patricia was our first to spin the wheel, and she won the four-pack to Schlitterbahn. Let's see with Courtney what the prize wheel is going to have for you. <gasps> Two all-day ride passes to Pleasure Pier. Courtney, who are you going to take? I'm going to take my fiancé, and we'll take the little one, too. Fantastic. Okay. That's a great day, for sure. Perfect. Well, congratulations, Courtney. Thank you guys. And uh, thanks so much for watching Houston Life. Absolutely. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, and if you would like your chance for us to spin, you win. Keep your eyes on our website, HoustonLife.tv, where we'll have more info posted. I know. So fun. I love a good costume change, as always. Okay, we're going to send it over to Joe Sam right now, who's having lots of fun on the island. Woo! Yeah, we are really having a lots of fun here. Check out what we're doing. We are taking a look at Sam. Oh! <laughs> It got me. <laughs> hey, this is what happened when you're having a good time. We are at Samson and Sons. This has been a seafood market here for a hundred years. I mean, look at look at this lady here. She's a she's a sassy one. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> she is a sassy yeah, she's one. One of her pretty ones. <laughs> I love it. We want to bring on in Milton, who's a third generation here. You have been running wow. this here and, and having such a great time I being here it. on the island and giving people a taste of the island. Talk a little bit about doing that here for the community. Well, that's what I enjoy. I love eating. Everybody likes beautiful, fresh fish. We got fresh seafood, shrimp, crabs, whatever they catch. Is what we sell. Absolutely. Now talk a little bit about your family because this has been in your family for a hundred years since 1921. It's incredible. My grandmother and grandfather started this business in the 20s and my dad took it over after he got out of the service and when he got home and then I took it over after he passed. So it's been in the family for years now. Hopefully my son will take it over. Absolutely. We want him to and we want this <laughs> to continue being in the community. What do you think this does for them being able to come here to see a family owned business being substantial and, and stabilized here in the community of Galveston? We're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> People know where to come get fresh seafood. We bring it daily off the boats and you couldn't get any fresher. It, it really can't because as we can, we just <laughs> told, just crab. got bit by the crab. <laughs> she was not playing around at all. And like you mentioned, you bring in so many different fr fresh catches every day. Every what would you day. have to say for people who are coming in? How can they contact you guys to find more information about Samson? Our Samson's phone number is listed in all the papers and, new, and the yellow pages. It's just look in the phone book or Google it up. Absolutely. So people can come, they can actually choose their fish out themselves, and then once they do that, they skin them, they fillet them, they get you ready to go. And we love that you've been here in the community. Thanks again so sure, much for being with us. talking with y'all. Absolutely. Right. We're going to go ahead and send things back to you. I'm not going to play around with any more of these. I'm just going to be with the safe bet, the ones that are not going to bite me. <laughs> and we're just going to take this one home. Which, what kind of fish is that? This is a red snapper. Beautiful. Beautiful That's fish. Fantastic. Good in season, Joe. Thanks so much. And stay right there. Houston Life will be right back with a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show. Don't go away. tomorrow on Houston Life. Do you want to try online dating, but maybe you're worried about catfishing, you know, someone pretending to be someone else? We'll have expert tips on how you can investigate your date ahead of time. Plus, it's time to spin the Houston Life prize wheel. Could you, you be tomorrow's lucky winner? Tune in to find out. All right, we've gotten a lot of Houston Life prize wheel love over the last couple days. I cannot believe this show is over. That hour flew by. We're not done yet. In honor of taking the show on the road to Galveston, we're asking you 
you. What is your favorite thing to do on the island? We've gotten some great responses. Let's get to more of those now. Patricia writes in, going to Pleasure Pier, riding all the rides, and eating all the good food out there. Oh, I'm with Patricia. Eve writes in as well, uh, ride the ferry to Bolivar Peninsula, rent a golf cart, and drive down Crystal Beach, eat at Stingray on uh, Bolivar. All of those things, super fun ideas. And I think we have time for one more comment from Cindy. Beach Pocket Park number two, rent a beach chair and umbrella with bar service from Tipsy Turtle. Hold on. They actually, Why weren't we there today? <laughs> they bring you cocktails right there on the beach? I guess so. Okay, that sounds good. Well, listen, I think we're just about out of time here at Sanger Fest Park. Thank you so much for joining us live. And thanks so much to all the nice folks who stopped by to say hi to us and to Tex as well. Absolutely. There's something about being outside of the studio, taking the show on the road. And our first stop today was Galveston. No better place to be right ahead of spring break. For sure. And if you are one of those people who at the last minute you're thinking, what should we do? We don't want to get on a plane. Don't get on a plane. Jump in the car. Drive down to, be, to Galveston, and I think you'll be glad you did. Absolutely. All right. Well, that does it for Houston Life. We're going to send it on over to Studio A back in the city to Keith and Christine for KPRC 2 News at 4. Hi, guys.